if a child is having seizures and they have not yet had a chance to come to the Institutes for the Achievement of Human Potential and to start on a program of brain maturation, uh, what is the best thing that you as a parent can do at that point? Number one is look for the trigger because many seizures are triggered even though there's a brain disposition, a brain problem causing the seizure, the seizure sometimes doesn't come about until a trigger sets it off. So look for the triggers. Sometimes they're easy to find. It might be allergies, and the allergy has to be controlled. It might be an excess of certain types of foods, and that food has to be controlled, brought down in quantity. Uh, it could be exposure to flickering lights, uh, such as a bad TV set that's flickering, or uh, sunlight shining through the trees and through a window that flickers. Uh, that can cause seizures. It could be exposure to toxic substances, uh, some detergents that are used in the household, uh, or cleaning products, different types of cleaning products, uh, products that are used on the food that we eat, pesticides, uh, pesticides on the skins of fruit, uh, toxic substances, fumes in the air. Uh, Daddy works in the garage, and the garage is under your bedroom, and Daddy's working cleaning out some of his uh, mechanical equipment and he's using potent detergents. Those fumes can evaporate and soak up through the ceiling into, in, into your bedroom. Uh, so if a trigger can be identified, that is the first thing that you as a parent can do. The other thing you need to do also is make sure if the child has seizures where she or he passes out and is at risk of falling, falling off a table, falling off a couch, uh, falling from a height if they're already a toddler and walking, then you want to make sure that uh, they're not in a position where they can get hurt. Uh, so if the seizures are frequent, they may temporarily need to be on some anticonvulsant medication. Uh, if the seizures are not frequent uh, and the child is not yet very mobile in terms of walking, uh, then it's just best to make sure the child is breathing all right, turn the head to one side. Uh, if it looks as though the child is having trouble breathing, make sure the tongue hasn't fallen back in the mouth and the seizure will pass in a few seconds to a minute at the most. And that will be the best way to deal with, uh, with the seizures until you can get to a, uh, an institute's program to help the maturation of your child's brain. One question you might ask yourself is, uh, if your child is having seizures and we're recommending not using medication, what makes us at the Institutes for the Achievement of Human Potential different from the rest of the world? Well, first of all, uh, this concept of not using medication for seizures was initiated by Dr. Temple Fay in the 40s and 50s and has been carried through by the institutes and improved upon by the institutes over the years uh, and given the institutes a large degree of experience and success uh, treating patients without seizures or taking them off seizure medication, in other words, detoxifying them. Um, this, in the early days, was considered very controversial because the common wisdom used to be, uh, several decades ago, that if a patient has a seizure, you immediately put them on medication. If that medication doesn't work, you put them on a second one, and you put them on a third one, and sometimes put them on a fourth one, and now they're on four medications that are making them totally stupid and silly and unable to function. That, little by little, over the decades changed so that neurologists now agree that if you're going to treat seizures with medication, only one medication uh, should be sufficient. And most uh, well-educated uh, neurologists will treat seizures this way nowadays. Uh, some even advocate not using medication at all after the first seizure and wait to see if there's a second seizure. So there has been an evolution uh, over time that has made the Institute's approach uh, somewhat more accessible, uh, somewhat more acceptable even though there's still a number of uh, academics who strongly feel that seizures have to be treated with anti-epileptic drugs. It must be kept in mind also that anti-epileptic drugs are produced by pharmaceutical companies. And the success of a pharmaceutical company is a function of its sales. So pharmaceutical companies are going to encourage the use of anti-epileptic medications for seizures. Uh, in a sense, here at the institutes, 
uh, we are antagonistic to the pharmaceutical companies because we are not predicating the use of medication. It's the opposite. Uh, our goal is to help mature the brain so that the brain abnormality is no longer there, and hence the seizure, which is a symptom of brain abnormality, is no longer there. And I think that is the best way to summarize how we are different from everybody else. Uh, we are very anti-medication. Uh, we are pro-detoxifying an individual, taking them off the medication if it's not absolutely necessary, thus avoiding the side effects of the medication. And uh, secondly, and very importantly, allowing the brain to mature.